Our house is very messy. Again, we just organized it, cleaned it, and then I keep just, you know, bringing stuff home. Freddie loves me for it. Uh, so we got our outdoor water heater for the shower today. So we got a bunch of stuff to try to set that up. Uh, this black bin heater is going to be what we'll catch water in. At least that's the plan for me. Freddie hasn't talked to me about it yet, so maybe he'll say, mm, no, Ange. Oh, tools. Tools. Uh, so I got a bunch of hoses because I'm hoping that we can... Split our water line because I also bought a pump, which I should really have all this stuff out and showing you guys, but you know, I'm not that good about things. Okay, don't don't frown upon our table. It rained this morning, I gotta clean it. But we have this faucet. And I'm hoping we can use the water source and split it so that we can run the faucet and the shower. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we got the net on. And the handy hubby is gonna put that on the barrel. That's the water nozzle I was talking about. That's our pump that hopefully will put water in our shower and in our sink and maybe even an extra hose. All right, let's open this gasoline water heater thing. Talking to the camera. I'm talking to these guys. Ooh la la. I just up full tank, huh? Yeah. So we got extra parts. Not extra parts, but parts we need. Well, there's some extras too. Comes with a propane hose already. Whatever you think, I don't know anything about it. I'm just making it up as I go. <laughs> okay, so connections. Hopefully we're in view here. It's labeled gas inlet, water outlet, water inlet. It's a tiny little hose, but it's supposed to come with adapters. And then this is for the D batteries. Kind of heavy. It works on battery too, huh? Um, the battery is for the pilot, so right. that's the power source it uses. <clears throat> so you technically don't even need power for it, except for it needs to have water pressure to turn on. Right. Um, it's very minimal. I can't remember what it is, but that pump would make it easier, and then we could use it for. Into it, like I, saying. I've been warned that the shower head that comes with this thing is pretty sucky. So I was looking at shower heads today, but they're kind of expensive. So I thought, well, I will just see what it's all about before I go spend any money on it. Nice brass adapters. That's cool. There's a garden hose there. Yeah, because we got to bring this one down to water hose size, too. Comes with tools. Um, screws to mount it, I suppose. Hold on, I'm showing the camera high. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shower holder. 
I also heard a complaint that the hose is pretty short that it comes with, so a lot of people will buy an extension or a longer hose. I should, oh yeah, it's pretty chintzy. Really tiny holes that probably won't take long to clog up with calcium or whatever. I don't know. If that's even a thing with rainwater, probably not. Made in China. <laughs> So that's that. Nice hose. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I was born with this. <laughs> kind of flimsy, don't you? Think? <laughs> Did and you want this? It? No, this one doesn't need it. Okay. This has got. Uh, that's got a. Uh, oh. Wait, babe. That's for the hose, though. Hmm? Oh. That would've been too simple for it just to go right in, right? Oh shit. Can't just go in. We'll fit on there. Kiss my ass. Do we have to? Kiss my ass, call me Soupy Sail. To always overthink this tape and go which way should I wind it? <laughs> the same way you thread it. You thread it. I'm sorry, we can't see. Can you move your hands please? What's that? <laughs> Just I said we can't see. Can you move your hands please? <laughs> Yeah, sorry, it's part of the production. <laughs> yeah, so, the one hose that comes out of the water pump will be going in right there. Yep. Or. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a wrench in the, in the truck. <clears throat> or amongst us. Is there two size wrenches? You use the big one. Okay. Oh, um, look at you, so handy. I don't have one. Freddie was just asking what this guy is. It's to drain out the water so that it doesn't freeze. We were just discussing off camera if we could potentially um, put a splitter in here so that we could have the shower head run hot water and then run a hose to our kitchen sink, which would have hot water too. Seen your vibrator. My vibrator batteries. If it used D batteries, that might be a problem. Just saying. And that's how you put D batteries in, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Just kidding. How much was this? Um, I don't know offhand. I want to say 150, 200 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay. Without looking. Mm -hmm. Um, for that, the pump with the outlet because obviously they have it where you can run it on 12 volt too um but it costs extra for the plug oh it's a so it's a dc and ac dc huh yeah well i don't know oh. if 
Probably, honestly, I don't know. But I had the option of buying one that didn't have a plug and one that did have a plug. I chose right. the one with the plug. Right, yeah. Um, and then uh, that one cost extra. So together that and that was like 300 bucks. 200? 300 bucks with that and the pump. So I think the pump was almost 100 bucks itself. Mm. I might have to check prices and, and I might have to put that in the description for you people. Now what, Vern? Time for a cold beer. <laughs> I am going to attach our quality shower head. There we go. There's an on off switch, which um, is not easy to push. I wasn't expecting it to be so hard. Uh, so, we also will have to check the connection of the gas line, of course, with bubble water. Make sure that there's no bubbles. And, yeah. Ooh, there it goes. Got excited. Blocking a view. <laughs> <laughs> 